the hill is working yes okay took a while for voice meter that's fine Finally. All right. Continue. The far future. Again, these batteries, those Bluetooth devices have. That's insane. I think I was about to do a side quest. Yeah, I finished the main quest with the hand, which was pretty fucking good. I found the brother. Oh, maybe I finished. I found the brother, I found the spear. Hmm. Maybe I'm about to do the main quest, I don't remember. We'll see when the game manages to load. Alright, yeah, I've done all the quests I can see anyway. Cool. Oh yeah, I wanted to go back and uh, trade again. Unfortunately, I don't see uh, where the merchant is. Aha, it's over there, so let's see if I can get there. Because I want to take the bow that actually hits uh, two people, two people. It's with more damage, but it's slower. Because let's face it, when I'm fast, I'm just inaccurate. All right, we should go on our right. I think I have the music too low. Why are you still hiding? That's weird. What is it now? That goes too loud. Alright, let's see. The sub shooter bow has a lot less handling, but look at that damage. This, on the other hand, has much more handling, doesn't do a lot of damage, but does do 25. Hmm. 
Çok damaz. Ooh, I can get that too. That seems nice. Don't have enough shards though. Give gun cell. So the blue ones are trading for merchant, uh, or maybe, I don't know if it matters. Everything else is crafting, that's fine. I'll sell my previous bow. Hmm. I will buy the sling. Cool. Uh, don't need any of these uh, or of these. Cool. Another day, another trade. Okay, why is the music so loud and the speech is so high? It was the other way around yesterday. I guess that concludes our business. I don't know. Right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. Tutorial sword bow. Sharp shooter bow. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do the tutorial, which is... Kill watchers using precision. But where are the watchers? I guess we need to find them, okay? Uh, let's check the bow. Okay. Uh, ammo, yeah, let's make some ammo. Cling ammo packs. I have two and two, so we'll. Well, I guess I can make that. It's really easy. But it has different arrows. Uh, yeah, shouldn't have sold the bow then. You are meant to use both bows. Please tell me I can buy it back. What is it now? I can. Cool. Another day. I guess that concludes. All right. All right. I didn't realize you could use uh, multiple bows. I don't know why. Makes sense. Now we need us to find some watchers. Riders. 
Raccoon. <ride> ah. Pozzers. Are down. Okay, damn it, stop moving your neck. Yeah, these guys are gonna live. There's another one. Did I hit it? No. No, I didn't. There we go. Those guys are looking at me over there. Anyway, uh, let's see. I think there was another quest. Another tutorial quest. Gives experience, so why not? I wonder why there are animal type of robots. What's the reason? They behave like animals too, which is kind of weird. the game will explain. That's good enough. And I pick it up. Actually, let me see if I can hit it myself. No, I can't. Cool. I don't have to worry about that, but I don't think I can actually 
Pick it up. That's fine. Cool. Now we'll go to the main quest, I guess. Nice. That thing does some massive damage. Cool. I like that. Well, let's move on. Where am I going next? Uh, Back home, I guess. And I'm running out of uh, fast travel packs. I wonder if I can craft them. I think I can craft them, I don't remember. I'll try to make a couple, see how that works. There we go. Damn, I really need more uh, reeds wood. I use it for everything. Alright, cool. I have one skill, I'll wait I think. I don't need any of... Mm, probably not. That's not bad actually. I might take everything, I don't know. Everything seems kinda of useful. Alright. Let's go speak to Roth. Or whatever his name is. Easy, easy. And then it. Trying to figure out when I should uh, press to roll, but. And I'm failing at life. So, it's time. Are you ready? Let us do it. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Eye. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe.
Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. What? Now you communicate more. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured yeah. out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the you one breaking the law, the not you. you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Well, until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Then good riddance, what the fuck? No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. I mean, for a father and daughter, they are very not communicative, and also, for now. I'm not sure she should have let him go After that. to do the proving. I'm not sure it, if it's important enough, or it would be for me anyway. But I guess I'm drop us here. So, also, I'm not here. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime... It's so dying. Festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? They are very clean for the people living off the land in the dirt. Okay. I guess they will talk to us now. What about Bobby? She's strong. A lot of a war chief. Oh, I was wondering what the, the hell is that? Hot as a forest fire. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. And then. And then she asked for It is mate. Aloy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. 
I see you don't recognize me. I do. Well, it was a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. That's not creepy. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thing. It's a little moon outfit. <laughs> Long overdue. Uh, am I picking one or what? Ooh, we can buy some too. Uh, wait, isn't this what I'm wearing already? Ooh, nice. Rare, uh, harder to see and hear. 20... Mm. Attacks against melee attacks. Yes. I don't want to equip. I just want to get it. Interesting. So this guy is also a trader, I guess. And they introduce you to buying outfits. What the hell is the difference? You get a hand. Have different feet and it's more woundery, I guess. Man, I really don't love this one though. But we'll see. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Cool. Ha. I'll show her. Maybe after a minute. Uh, I think I'm ready in general. Damn, I don't have any more scrap metal. Did I? I used all my scrap metal apparently. So, uh, can I upgrade? Uh, Uh, resist range attacks, stealth. All stealth. All day long. Uh, no extra protection, but can be upgraded. Okay, cool. Thank you. This place is bigger than I thought. Cool. He's having a good time letting his brother, her brother, 
Sir Father Milv Jog, get down from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? The carger took my little sister in there. What an idiot he is. <laughs> every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. No. I'm an atheist. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning. All life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them. To make them a new world, better. Oh my God! Fake history. A world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them, feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty, and so the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the faithless for long. I guess we lost all knowledge. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever, as you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death. That's totally what happened. And their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mother. Only we are the best, which is basically every story. Since the beginning of the world. Are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Wow. <laughs> nice. It's in there. Listen, I won't bite at all at that. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. What harm can they do now? In the beginning. Uh. There. All were her children. All right, children. Uh Oh, is that gay? Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. 
You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> don't go soft on me. All right, I don't need to dread anything, so we're good. Good luck. But then need to go there uh, to start with. They put him here, so if you forgot, you could uh, upgrade stuff. That's cool. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. that king <laughs> of our... Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, hey. hold your fruit, nor... Uh, nor a faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaran. Hold your fruit. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated you, Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. And the message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the fortune <laughs> So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude. More fruit. Unknown device detected. No, the Karja stand with you. We shouldn't let these cards are outside. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> These guys don't seem hey. legit. He got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. thanks. I wasn't, wasn't sure, sure I could do it. The Nora yeah, is still so pissed is. with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? Were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? 
Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. Smooth. Both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. Well, sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take him down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten, ten years, years ago, ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, machines? Well, they aren't telling. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united the Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible. Took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at this guy's things. Pretty Arguing, good character. Working steel and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Uh, who asked this? Why isn't it the... Tell me about the derangement again. Oh, okay. The way I hear it, 15, 20, when a hunter came at them... Yeah, okay. Then the now I don't know why it was on the grayed out. Yeah. So no one... If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Well, where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. I'm guessing we're gonna see it. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never, never seen, seen Vanguard steel? steel? Well, let me I introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. 
The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. <sighs> Why do you do that? I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. That guy was interesting. Look, maybe I, I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong to this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, you're very pretty. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around. Wow, she <laughs> was oblivious. That was funny. Compared to five years ago, the entertainment, the dancing. Where did the other guy go, though? Left this way, but I guess who knows? He could be any, anywhere. All right, that's fine. Let's follow the actual road. Just checking if I can find him. Not just special occasions. Weird uh, that he had one of those and they malfunction uh, if it was a malfunction. And this is pretty 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 game. Uh, oh. Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth I I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you, if you wish, wish to speak, speak, we should do so after, after the, the ceremony. ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that anchors these people. Okay. I guess we'll go to the ceremony. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters. What's that guy? Bass or whatever his name was. Each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, Till an asshole. <laughs> it's flame. For myself, what the fuck? All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So from one to another passes the chain of love. Cool. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Indeed. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. 
Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Wow, this guy is suspicious of scale. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happened all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. <laughs> Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't I wonder if he sees something Not mine. on us. Like on our person. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Wow. Those skins. You will all die tomorrow because we will attack you. That was interesting. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare yeah, gift, yeah, indeed. But you don't believe in All Mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all. That the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance Avad is the 14th king of His the luminance. Sun. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. Sure. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. You are full of shit. Some can make bad choices like anyone else. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the son to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The son is masculine, of course. Wow. And so would choose its heirs. It's on the nose. Um, it's a light in the sky. 
I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here. Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Irid. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We Sun Priests are but glimmers of its great... So a moon, then. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> My apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Cool. That's a lot of optional dialogue. That's pretty impressive. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. What about the night? Well, oh, thanks anyway. I appreciate it. Oh my god, we need to speak to all of these people. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. It reminds me of Fallout 1 and 2 in design. Given your circumstances. Uh, no, it was pretty. Sure. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Yes. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my oh, years, I've only I'm known of one, one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the it proving five, five years later, he did not appear. What? No. Was that Roth? He was impressed if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. I like Aloy. 
She is stubborn, but she was also very passionate. And not really afraid to speak her mind. That's pretty cool. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect, expect nothing, nothing less. less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. Damn, that's a lot of them. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So the more children you have, the more authority you get? That's weird. I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Uh, I don't know, something more uh, based on the skills you have instead of how many times you made children and they made children. Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions more than that i cannot say it's not my fault that i was born or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out i side with you in this matter but there, there are, are differences, differences of opinion and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority uh, so that means that even if she said no the other two said yes i should be going for exile i'm sorry if i've been too harsh it's just... I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. I will be praying you actually make an engine that doesn't clip like hell. Whoever does that. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who can put on a better fireworks show. The guy reminds me of an actor. Oops. Think. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Okay, nothing yeah, well, new. Good luck in that proving thing. Uh, maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? I think it's definitely something he saw when he looked at us. I don't remember though. Anyway, we'll see. I want to see if this thing gives us any hints on what's gonna happen tomorrow. Really well, we weren't alone either. Teb. What are these warm colors? and dream of winning the proving that's the closest you're gonna get
Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <laughs> good job. Don't take any seat. That's pretty good. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. Oh, it's the asshole. Outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my yeah, life, life for the proving. proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I really like the character. Look to Valla optional. Nice of course. job handling boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Alright. Uh, before I do that, I think I'll... Take a small uh, bio break and I'll be right back. This game is awesome. So far. We'll see.
Alrighty. Back to it. So, your first day in mother's heart. What do you think? Weird. You've never slept in a Nora before. Not very private. Hmm. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Well, if there was a guy over there on top looking down at me, <laughs> it would be hard to sleep. Hey! Who changed our uh, appearance? Yes, game. We we'll get it. He's an asshole. What's us lose because we save someone? It's that guy. <laughs> All right. Kill points. Then I take that. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Next time. Let's make some arrows, which I can make a lot of them. And I need to loot this. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Ah. Yes, okay, we get it. They are all assholes.
I loot all this because I need some actual uh, things. Oh, really? I can't loot. Need some arrows and stuff. Alright, off we go. I also need some healing, but you know, at least I have potions. You'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Time to use the. Oh, yeah. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better Do dead it. last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. That's no way but forward now. Right well, we are insane apparently, so. <laughs> that was quite a way to die there. I think I was supposed to go up, but I'm not sure. It's, it's not easy to... See the path with all the snow. There, gotta catch up. Who's in the lead? I can't see. Boss, the ball right behind us. Come on now. Faster, stop dragging. Get this. Get them. It's on the old trail. Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? I made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Run for it. Rana said. Thank you. I'm guessing whatever happens is scripted, so... <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why I dropped there. Oh my... head... <laughs> was so... Uh, bended. I have to drink some coffee. Okay. Let's do it. Maiden. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. He stops running uh, for some reason. Climbing. Ooh. Nice. Come on, come on, you can make it. I want to take a, look, a look at the scenery, but she 
didn't win? The outcast cheated! An outcast win the proving? Never. Really? But she is a brave now. Ah, okay. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among them. Ah! Come on. Head back. Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we will make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you. Let's go. Now. Uh, what am I doing? Though? Too many of them. We can't yeah. win. Um. We can't hold them. Oh, I see. Oh, mother, help us! Survivors. Stay Come together. Uh, oh, no. What are we doing exactly? Let me level up. They keep coming. How many are there? I deserve that. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. How many are there? Only too many. What are we doing exactly? Too many of them. Can you fucking? Yeah, this sharpshooter bow is really good. Some healing. Uh, oh, where the fuck did you come from? They're too strong. Here, we can't stop them. We're stopping them fine. Relax. What the hell is that? Get back! Machine guns. What the fuck? Ah, Bala! Bala! No! Damn, that. The red hair dies now. That wasn't what I expected. <laughs> like at all. No ammo, can craft ammo, that's fantastic. Uh, how do I change?
Fuck, that doesn't do damage. I missed the sword, Buderbo. Okay, you know what? Ah, we don't need a critical hit. What is that? Oh. What? Take it? I don't want to drop it, I want to use it. There we go. Do you have a knife? Bullshit. Burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. Put them. Claiming arrow right there. Or maybe not. This is bullshit. What? She should be near her mother. 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 Her Wait, are we... Healed? Where the hell is our scar? Seriously. Where is our scar?
Is she a clone? What the fuck is going on? Why is no one here? Where am I? Near her mother, probably some machine. Are we vat grown? But why are we completely healed? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Story was interesting. Story was also. I did not expect that to go like that at all. I expected us to be attacked, but I expected uh, us to make uh, basically a getaway with Vala and uh, Bast and become friends, etc. And that's not where it went at all. I also was expecting to go after our father. Also, not what happened at all. So good job there on defying expectations. Expectations. Good. But where's my focus? It's here. Okay. Where is your scars, girl? Seriously. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? Uh seriously. Maybe we need a mirror. Although I haven't actually seen any mirrors in this game. But uh, she should be feeling herself up where she was cut. I hope she mentions that because uh she doesn't, that's gonna be annoying. I'm not gonna find it here. I should be on my way. Ow. Oh, it's open. I thought it was locked. I'm picking up some kind of signal. Where? Oh, I see it. it. Must be the damaged focus, the one I took from that killer. It's close. That sci-fi slash uh, post-apocalyptic barbarism they have going—it's pretty fucking cool. The hill. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. What the mother? Yep. Are you my mother? Terminates. Hey 
Aloy. You are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. To the machine. Things are happening way too fast. It is easier if I show you. Complicated, please just follow me. I am following you. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. Yeah, she's definitely a clone or something. Or at least genetically engineered, I guess. And gave birth to you. Aloy, the proving massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. There's someone put here there. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, Please, that, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. You dying? Oh. Just religious. <laughs> the goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. It. Or maybe some blood, some other kind of DNA. Or maybe you need another registry, I guess. That works. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Olin. He was one of the outsiders, the night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. 
He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. Well, the story is actually interesting. I didn't expect that. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though <laughs> she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. Man, I don't have... Uh, I need to buy some wood or something. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke... It must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister. For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be yours, not mine. Send her seeking and may she never be seen again. We hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. I'm learning about Ross now. That he's dead, I guess. You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of Practical. the world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Totally. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of all mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, 
This is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Come on, the guys did. Let me know. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Take the south quests. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, mm. for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. The game looks really good. Their faces look really good, but their skin is weird. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. All right. Whoa. The outcast girl. So she survived her wound. Can hear you. This will wash away the scent for now. Yeah, uh, let's go through the road because uh, maybe there is something. Some quest. Saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Surprised? They're not blaming us for what happened. Maybe accuse us of um, being a traitor. The good thing I got that uh, extra resources, because apparently I'll need them. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Rush. Up on the wall. I was about to say the gate is open. I guess she meant the other. Uh, if, if, if we sing the, hymn sweetly, sure the other gate. All mother, hear your children's Aloy. voices raised in this hymn. Aloy! Hear all Ooh. prayer. All mother be praised. You're alive. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, 
High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. Aha, that's why. Why? We were not accused. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... He fought to save me and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not he's the asshole, I think he is. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. But the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them. Make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines... They're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe, Believe me, me, this is no, no time, time to go to traveling. Go traveling. Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says... He's an asshole and he doesn't like you. <laughs> that I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief. But she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but... She died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I liked her. I like here too. So did I. We agree. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. Be safe, Aloy. Yes, I'll take everything. Hello. Just passing through. Because I need all of these. Cool. Now let's go speak to that asshole. Ah, uh, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Oh. Rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A thing of dark metal that. I need the gate opened. Since when has any outcast's need been mine? We're not outcasts anymore, by the way. Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. And win. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside them and killed them, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate and I will be on my way. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. It's but him. The demon. 
That's new. Oh, it's corrupting them. Cool. Why the goddess? What's it doing to them? Taking control. Brace yourself. Throw him down. Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! Hopefully he will die. Yeah, let's see what this do. Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh mother, give us strength! Actually, let's uh, do that. That's a bad idea. Go away, go away. God damn it. I guess I should not do that right now. I'm not even sure what the fuck is hitting me. There we go. Scan it. Scan it. Thank you. Uh, witness fire. Okay. Come on, I dodge that. things oh that was unexpected it's down damn let's fight Upgrades. Connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. A couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. 
I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Already. Now we'll do everything. Immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Uh, Psy overheads available. What the hell is that? Hmm. I don't see anything. Hmm. Maybe it's crafting. No. Uh, don't see anything. We'll keep the silent one for now. Alright, I don't know what is. The game won't tell me, so I guess we'll pick another skill. Uh, like death from above. <laughs> Okay. Overheads unlocked. Uh, oh, okay. It's um, a data I got. I guess it can only pacify specific creatures. No. Marine, my boots will get damp. I'm done speaking with you, outcast. That guy looks awesome, although he's an asshole, you know. Nice model, though. All right, I'll pick this up and then I'll leave. Thank you. All right. Guess I'm pretty full. I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Although the game auto saves. Yes, that's fine. We'll check it out. Hell is a rope caster. Tie down machines and immobilize them. Larger targets require more ropes. Uh. Oh. Sure. I don't have any space for it. That's not great. Oh yeah, I can make a, a bigger pouch, I think. I'll try that. Let's probably get one of these too, just in case I need something with protection. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do that. It's not really expensive. Uh, no, I don't want to equip. Thank you. Uh, five metal shards for one. Nah, not worth it. All right, let's find the. Oh, let's find the. Nope, not you. On the machine. Oh, this is where we get the mount. Okay. Cool. Got one. That didn't look so deep. Weird. Uh, let's not use that one. Oh, I killed it. Cool. We need to kill some more of this because their mids uh, give you um, something I needed. I don't remember what it was, but it needed the uh, mid. Oh, the fast travel packs. Uh, carry capacity, yes. I want the. That one. Oh, I need one more fatty meat. So I need uh, one more boar then. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Alright, I see the striders, so I guess we'll go for that then. And then we'll find the boar. Uh, what are we doing? How do I use it? Uh, approaching a detective and holding triangle. That's cool as fuck. Yeah. 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 Ride. Damn, can also hit things. That's interesting. This is pretty cool. Okay. I must admit. I just need one boar. One boar. Okay. Well, I can't actually stealth with this, so let's switch uh, outfits. Don't have anything, okay. F 
freeze uh, okay I think you have different modifications for different things which is interesting okay, relax Man, I don't see any animals. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'll move on and then I will uh, probably find something in the way anyway. That's on me. Let's fight it. Scrapper. Yeah, let's fight. I want to fight something uh, on top of this. See how it goes. your mount select uh, okay I see you want some Let's try that again. Uh, that's not it. Oh, did I kill my mount by mistake? I think I did. God damn it. Uh, okay. Not to self, don't kill your actual mount. Only the enemies. There we go. Let me go take uh, another one. Ooh, and a boar too. Of course the boat disappeared. That should be enough for me to have my dry caster. No, it is not. Really, it didn't give me fatty meat. Hmm. Try the fox. Fatimit! One Fatimit, exactly what I needed. Oh, 
Alrighty, that's what we need. Awesome. Wait, where is my sling? Hmm. Why? What? Oh, it only improves the capacity of weapons you can have. Not the actual... Uh, oh, crap. I have to pick, I guess. Well, I'll, I guess I'll do this and we'll see. Hmm. That was worthless. Let's go. Cancel this. We have the mound. Varl, I take it. Am I seeing things, or were you riding that strider? Nice. The gate? Uh, they acknowledge that. Was, cool. Hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely. As did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends. If we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. Well, I can think of... A few better deaths. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and 
raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. Oh no. I should be on my way. Aloy, <laughs> before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after yeah, her myself if she hadn't she had commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. She went after the killers who attacked the Proving. Who killed those we love. Who tried to kill you. Alright, relax. Can, we'll do it. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh. All right, let's see. Both are main quests. That's interesting. We'll go for that one. So wait, did my mount just disappear? No. It's stuck. Yeah, kinda. Alright. Let's go. May the goddess protect. Thank you. Jesus, it's hard to aim. Look this thing. Nice. Good damage. Really good damage, actually. Aiming though is gonna take a while. Also, the problem with the mount is you can't actually loot, I think, while you are uh, mounted. <laughs> Let me try. If I can actually turn this around, thank you. No. I need to get down, loot, and then get up. Alright, is there a fall damage? Uh, let's find out. Oh, I can't actually go there. Look, it's easy. Painful, but easy. The hell is that?
Okay. That's new. I guess we're getting a lot of new things. Can you get down from there? <laughs> no. Really? Is it... Uh, does it stay in the world? Or does it disappear? Let me move a bit further. See what happens. Save these for the trail. Aha. Uh -huh. It does disappear after a while. And you resummon it. Cool. Is this? Oh, I think this is the place we killed, yeah, this is the place we killed um, that big guy, whose name I don't remember. Sawtooth? No. What was it? Oh, it is Sawtooth. Wow. That was actually correct. I see some symbols, but I don't know what they are. I guess we have to go all the way around. Plus there is a quest there, so... A hunting ground. Or else if there's good machine hunting across the river. Is that a corpse at his feet? Let me loot a little. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that was the wrong button. There's danger ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Noraland. Yes, yes, yes. Trespass is forbidden on pain of death. Strange phrase, the pain of death. See? This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A uh, thief. Slaver or killer? The kind that give honest killers a bad name. Burl told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. Most dig out a camp and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. Okay. And this game looks good. Also that guy looked like the actor, I don't remember his name. My focus is picking up some kind of signal. Maybe I can scan it. Those ruins. That must be Devil's Thirst. A city of the ruins. Of the what? what ruins? What the hell are you talking about? Is this a ruin? She sees things uh, before I see them. And she comments on them, which is kinda weird. Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely those kind of ruins. I need to go around. Really? Yeah, let's slap him. Man, that mound is good. Okay. Wait for me here. Oh, I wonder what's down here. Let's check it out. Maybe. That seems like a great idea. 
Let's jump somewhere where we don't know if there is an exit or if it goes deep enough. But you know, video games. Can stop tensing up. The game has great animation too. We knew about that already, that's why we are here. That's different. Armor. From the age of the old ones. Ultra weave armor. But how do I get to it? Experimental personal armor. Nanofiber construction. Uh these numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Data source required settings for nearby hololocks. Okay. The old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Red light. Haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Uh Paro. Even that means. I don't think I can interact with this. Interface unavailable. I wow, I don't think it will give us that armor. That seems way too OP. Yeah. Maybe this is an assassin creed, you have to do other things first before you come here. Text log. Damn. Okay, this is pretty OP. Again, I'm pretty sure I can't get in there. Unless I'm missing something. There is another door which is open. But how do you get to the other side? It sort of can't fit. No. Hmm. Uh, something? No. Can I get through there? No. Sixty six two one. And my controller is out. God yeah, damn it. And you charge it. And it's far away. You know what? Never mind. I guess that's a good uh, place to end the stream anyway. I was uh, getting close to the end. Thanks for dropping by. If you watch this on YouTube, as usually, you know what to do. I'll um, probably not be back tomorrow. Maybe Thursday with more. This is awesome. So far, I'm actually it's actually exceeding my expectations. Which is great. See you next time.